animals often look pretty harmless, but some of them could beat the stuffing out of the most experienced boxers. Male bighorn sheep arrange real duels, where only the largest, the strongest, and the heaviest can win. First, they split off in opposite directions. They do this to build up speed, and then BAM! They smash their heads together at a speed of about 15 miles per hour. The sheep's massive horns are their main weapons. They're heavier than all the other bones in their body, and they don't break in battle because they're very flexible. Horses have eyes that are among the largest of any land mammal. They have almost panoramic vision. Their only blind spots are the area between their eyes and the back of their head. So they're good at spotting enemies. Horses fight while balanced on their hind legs. And here comes their signature move, a double kick with their hind legs. The blow from this is hard enough to break bone. The largest mammal in North America, the bison, is a furious fighter. It can be up to 7 feet in height and weigh about 2,800 pounds. The bulls often fight over females, and their duels get very serious. Imagine two of these gigantic creatures hitting each other at a speed of 35 miles per hour. Their sharp horns help them fight, while their matted fur serves to cushion the blows. Meet one of the most professional fighters out there, desert scorpions. Like medieval knights, they wear armor. Their bodies are solid exoskeletons. Scorpions are armed with sharp claws and a venomous stinger. Scorpions don't go far from their homes to hunt. Instead, they just wait patiently till their victim comes too close. Wolves often fight over territory with other packs. These fights can be savage, since wolves learn to fight almost as soon as they're born. A grown wolf weighs about 80 pounds and is armed with fangs the length of a human finger. Females are just as tough as the males. If she's the strongest, she becomes the leader of the pack. So they not only have alpha males, but alpha females as well. The grizzly bear is one of the most dangerous carnivores in the world. These heavyweight champions often fight over both females and food. They have muscles that give them the strength of five adult men. Towering at a height of 8 feet, grizzlies lock their opponents in a firm grip and try to give them a devastating bite. They target the loose skin around each other's necks. A large male's fangs can bite through a cast iron skillet. You might not expect it from this tiny animal, but the mantis shrimp has one of the strongest blows of any living creature on the planet. The shrimps usually grow to about 4 inches in length, but their punches are powerful enough to break through thick aquarium glass. Their secret weapon is their amazing speed. The shrimp's claw shoots at a speed of 23 meters per second and generates a force nearly 2,500 times their own weight. Mantis shrimps perform their knockout blow in just 800 microseconds, which makes it the fastest strike of any predator in the ocean. But these kicking machines don't like to fight with one another and prefer to resolve conflicts peacefully. Good going, guys! They perform something called ritualized sparring. The goal of this confrontation is to show the opponent how strong they are, but it's more of a competition than a real fight. Trapjaw ants are another fast-moving fighter. This species earned its name from their mouth parts that clamp down on prey at lightning speed. The ants brawl to determine who's the boss in their nest. They can strike their opponents about 41 times in the space of a single second. It all happens so fast that only special high-speed cameras can capture their fights in detail. Being a dangerous animal doesn't always mean being fast, though. Pythons, for example, attack their opponents by squeezing them very slowly. When the victim exhales, these snakes squeeze them even harder until they stop breathing and then swallow their prey whole. Brown hares, not the same species as rabbits, often fight in spring when they compete for mates. Their encounters can be seriously vicious. The hares stand on their hind legs and attack each other with their paws, which is why their brawls look a lot like boxing matches. Experts used to think these duels happen only between the males, but it turns out that the females can start fights as well. But in their case, it's to drive away their annoying suitors. Hey, I want to know if they get excited, do the hares stand up on hares? Anyway, the most famous boxers in the animal world are, of course, kangaroos. When they fight, they strike and grab each other with their upper paws. 
So the ones with big muscles have an advantage. They can also strike a blow with both their hind feet. Kangaroos often fight for access to females or for drinking spots. Their duels can be short or long and ritualized. An Australian red kangaroo named Roger is the species' most famous boxing star. Thanks to his muscular physique, Roger could knock out even very strong opponents. Also, he could easily crush a metal bucket with his front paws. Down goes the bucket! Secretary birds may look ridiculous, but they sure know how to kick. They can send opponents to the next world with a single stride. The kick can transmit a force five times the bird's own weight and takes just a fraction of a second. The secretary bird's other approach is to grab their prey, fly high in the air, and then drop it to the ground. Nah, I wouldn't call that very fair, but life is tough in the wild. The slowest fighters of the animal kingdom are, you guessed it, tortoises. These reptiles bite, push, and flip each other over. This last thing is a very serious matter for them. Once a tortoise gets flipped on its back, it requires an epic struggle to get back on its feet. And if the tortoise is down for too long, it can actually be really dangerous. Its internal organs function safely only when they're the right way up. Their lungs are in the top half of their shell, so the weight of the other organs will press down on them. Big cats, such as leopards, are some of the most powerful animals in the world. Now, they usually don't fight with each other unless there's an important reason. But if another leopard tries to steal their prey, a spectacular fight begins. The outcomes can be very serious for both animals. These cats are extremely dangerous, but they have low stamina. They may stop for a breather several times during one fight. When it's over, the winner carries the prey off to a safe place. And finally, octopuses know how to fight. During battle, they throw shells and other things from the seabed at each other. To do this, they use a siphon. This is a part of their body which water or air flows in and out through. It's like the octopus's jet engine, which helps them to move. The octopus first gathers a bunch of things in its arms and then directs a stream of water from the siphon to fire all the stuff at its opponents. By the way, octopuses don't have tentacles, they have arms. Look it up! Or just trust me on this one.